find the extremal of the functional integration of x1 to x2 y dash square minus y square plus 2y secant x with respect to x okay now taking this is a f of x y y dash okay now next is we taking Euler's equation Euler's equation is do f by do y minus d by dx of do f by do y dash that equal to 0 this equation is becomes now differentiate f means this function with respect to y partially y dash x treated as a constant now this is 0 now this is minus 2y minus 2y plus with respect to y means only 2 secant x minus d by dx now differentiate function with respect to y dash partially only this part you differentiate that is a 2y dash that equal to 0 okay now this is equal to minus 2y plus 2 secant x again differentiate but this is ODE ordinary differential equation with respect to x now this step is minus 2y double dash okay now in this equation divided by dividing by dividing by is a minus 2 dividing by minus 2 so y plus sorry first I'll take second order y double dash because minus 2 minus 2 plus y and minus 2 means minus secant x equal to 0 or y double dash plus y equal to secant x now see this equation so we need we need to apply in this equation apply the method of variation of parameters the method of method of variation of parameters parameters means we have this equation is a second order plus y that is a d square plus 1 into y is equal to secant x now d stand d by dx this is very simple again you find the auxiliary equation now auxiliary equation is this is m square plus 1 equal to 0 or m is equal to plus or minus r complex roots that means complementary function is a c1 plus uh, sorry c1 cos x plus c2 sin x this is complementary function now therefore y is equal to c1 means a we take cos x c2 means b sin x now find a and b now a is equal to find a and b substitute in this equation number one call this is equation number one now a is a integration of minus y2 phi of x upon w with respect to x and b is equal to integration of y1 phi of x upon w we need a w and y1 y2 okay now phi of x this part is a phi of a secant x is a phi of x is a secant x right hand side part is a phi of x that is a secant x now required w now w is a determinant of y1 y2 y1 dash and y2 dash okay now this equation is comparing with this one is a y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 see y1 means cos x y1 is a cos x and y2 is a sin x simple very simple now required y1 dash means differentiate y1 dash is equal to minus secant sin x and y2 dash is a this is a cos x and expand this determinant y1 y2 dash minus y2 y1 dash that is equal to y1 into y2 dash multiply cos x into cos this is cos square x minus sin y2 into y1 dash again minus sin square sin square that is plus sin square x you know the basic identity sin cos square x plus sin square x is that is 1 w is equal to 1 okay now go to the a now a is a integration of minus y2 into phi of x upon w now minus is out with respect to x minus is outside this is with respect to x sorry minus outside integration of y2 is a sin x 
and w is 1 phi of x phi of x is a secant x this is a phi of x secant x secant x with respect to x that is w is a 1 or minus integration of sin x by secant means 1 by cos cos x with respect to x now a is equal to minus secant this is 10 tan x with respect to x now therefore a is equal to minus integration of tan is a log of secant x then integral constant q1 okay now <coughs> after integration you get minus log secant x plus k1 next you go to the b b is a integration of y1 into phi of x upon a w integration of y1 is this is y1 cos x is a cos x plus phi of x is a secant x upon w means 1 with respect to x with, sorry, with respect to x next step integration of cos x upon secant x means 1 by cos means cos x with respect to x cos cos cancel only remaining b is equal to integration of dx plus next constant is k2 now integrate b is equal to that is a x plus k2 now a and b substitute in this equation number one okay now equation number one becomes y is equal to a value is a minus log of secant x plus k1 into cos x plus b value is a x plus k2 into sin x now this is required solution